So I was always into music from a young age. Um, I guess I kind of first got into it when uh, my grandfather, I would see him play in the casinos down Atlantic City. Play, um, he would sing, he would sing like um, kind of lounge style stuff like Tom Jones and Louis Prima. And um, I was always just hooked on, uh, hooked on to it from that. Um, then kind of later I got more into the blues and rock and roll and heavier stuff. And um, that kind of, that kind of took um, my soul into like a different direction. Like I was just kind of more um, involved in blues and, 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 and rock and roll and I kind of found my, I felt like that was my sound. And then um, later I joined the Paul Green School of Rock Music when I was about 14, like kind of just starting high school. And that was like a, just a after school music program where um, all kids can like kind of meet together and play instruments together and play songs together and it was really cool and that built a nice sort of reservoir of musicians for me to for me to pick up you know for me to uh, pick and play with and stuff and so that's kind of how my band met like way back in the day um, back in like the beginning of, of high school so um, so yeah so that's that's how we met and that's kind of that's kind of laid the foundation of like the kind of overall tightness and grooviness of the band. I'm Dominic, I sing and I play sax. We've got Louis Graff and uh, Kenny Lou on guitar. We have Brandon King on drums and we got Jake Dean on bass. Collectively, we all sort of draw our inspiration from different areas, I would say. Um, me personally, I'm more of a, I'm more of a rock, blues guy. Um, and I know the other guys are more, sort of more have a more modern feel, more into 90s grunge, stuff like that, like Deftones, Soundgarden. And they've actually gotten me to expand my sort of, you know, musical palette. You know what I mean? Um, they've gotten me to open up. So, so because we come at music from such different angles, I think it creates something, you know, nice and beautiful, so something different. And also it's good for our, our own musical and personal growth. I mean, that's, you know, I try not to really think about where we're going to go. It's more about what we're going to do and what we do, where that takes us. I don't know. But I think we just need to do what we do, and that is just make the best music we can possibly make. And wherever that takes us, you know, that, wherever, wherever it's wherever that takes us, you know what I mean? Wherever that takes us, I don't care where it is, but as long as we're doing um, the best we can, as long as we're making the music that's true to ourselves, and that you know other people will like. Uh, this evening at Raw, we're performing a few songs off of our new EP um, that's going to be released in about a week and a half. We did it at um, Studio Four up in Conshohocken. Really excited about that. Um, we're really excited about how it's going to sound. So tonight we're going to feature a few songs from that EP and then just play a host of the older stuff that we always love playing. Um, like personally for me, it's probably one of the best things uh, that happened to me in the past couple of years, getting connected with Philly Raw, getting connected with Fred. Um, these guys have really welcomed me and my band in with open arms, kind of really brought us into the community. And um, it's just been great. Um, we've met so many different artists here and we've um, interacted with them and we've you know, gotten to expose ourselves to all the different kinds of art. And it's really great for, um, for, for the Philadelphia community that this exists. Hi, my name is Dominic Melandro, and I'm part of the Parachuting Apostles, and I'm a Philly Raw artist. 